Um, it's not a long process. Um, how's it been this week? Tough stuff? Uh, probably the toughest first week I've ever had, to be honest. It was it's completely different. Obviously, we've got a new train, training guy in one, Jamie. So it's completely different. He's got his own ideas. And I think I'll be entering my side the Olympics as an 800 metre runner by the end of the pre-season, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen um, you guys in the, in the gym this week and running around the boundary. It seems like a, a tough sort of baptism of fire. Yeah, especially the first week as well. Normally you just seem to, you know, obviously we, we just seem to settle in the first week. It's pretty steady. Mm. But first, first, first day into it was tough and it just got even tougher. So it's, it's hard and, it's, and it's, it's, quite, it's going to be tough this season, but I think, I think we'll be better for it. Yeah, I suppose, personally speaking, you... Um, Suffered with one or two niggles last last season. Um, must have been frustrating summer, I guess. Yeah, any time you get injured, it's frustrating. And watching the lads come in and train, especially when we were struggling as well, I thought, I can't, I'd love to be out there, but obviously my back wasn't up to it. But I'll, I'll be working as hard as anyone to get that right for next season. How are you feeling now with the with the body? Yeah, fine. I'm I'm bowled a great deal, but obviously. Give it time to settle down. I had a similar thing last year, so it seems to settle down pretty quickly. And I spoke to Pipey and like changed our program again. Just, just another, little, another little side of it, just to see whether that helps towards the end of the season when I'm loading one side of my back. So hopefully the running and everything like that will benefit me to go around to the end of the season. So I mean, looking back on last year, um, I had a run in the side for the first half of the year. Did well down at Lords. If memory serves me. Um, also played a bit of one day cricket, I don't know, I'm up at Heading this year and you sort of help win the game for mm. us. Um, how important is it to try and break into sort of all three formats for you next year, John? Yeah, um, I mean it's tough obviously playing all three formats as an all rounder because it's tough mentally, physically, I mean you could be in Lords one day playing four day cricket and the next day you could be travelling without a rest and playing white ball, it's quite demanding like that but I can only, I can only salute Timmy G. For, for that, he does it every single year, and I think he's it's been brilliant. But like I said, yeah, I see myself, I, that's what I need to be doing more often the time ahead of me, finishing games off like that, but coming in at six and seven. So I think I've got the ability to do that, getting, getting my 35, 49 hours just to take us over the line more often. Well, that's it, I remember the game, and I must admit, you know, knowing you personally and, and being a Derbyshire fan now, I guess I was. I'm pretty disappointed about how the chase was going, and I thought you guys were dead and buried. But yeah, you intimidated sensationally. Well, it must have been quite satisfying personally. To, yeah, to, well, to really be yeah, in charge and winning a game for the, yeah. for the side. Being the right side of the pen is always up. <laughs> against the white walls as well. I mean, yeah, like I said, we we were cruising at one stage. Mm -hmm. Ches Ches was batting well, and then we've we've collapsed a few times over the years, and I thought it was one of them days. But I remember Wayne is. I mean, when is I think something like a, an eight-run partnership or like that, but we, we steadied the ship and we actually got the belief in that partnership, although it wasn't a great deal, amount of runs, mm -hmm. we steadied the ship. Because, because we weren't chasing such a high total, yeah. it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that important about scoring quickly, but once we got steadied the ship and just keep getting it down and down, then Timmy came in and finished it off perfectly. Yeah, reserved a big victory fist pump for the Yorkies, I think. Yeah. Top right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess looking forward to, to, to next summer, um, relegation last year would have been obviously disappointing for the boys. Um, I guess the second half of the year, you know, the, the dressing room would have taken great, great heart and belief from that. Um, what's, the, what's the vibe, what's the feeling about bouncing straight back? I mean, I think we're, if we're not confident to get straight back up, I don't, I don't think we should be playing this next year, mm. if I'm honest. I mean, we're actually in good, a better position now than when we went up, I think, mentally. Because when you go through something like relegation and, and facing tough, uh, tough opposition every single game, it can only stand you in good stead for next year. And I think, although we didn't go great, I think we are in that position to, to go up than we were before. Yeah, and I guess the squad would take great heart from sort of the three championship wins um, you know, coming in such quick succession like they did against Sussex, Middlesex and Somerset. Um, a lot of homegrown boys, a lot of local lads and... I guess if you keep that squad together, it's only going to stand in good stead for next summer. Yeah, they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Fearless, like we talked about. I mean, when you're young, I remember when I was young, you don't have as <laughs> much fear. Are you told him not that old? Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've beat three good teams as well. Sussex, who were flying high. Yeah. 
and it was great to see. Great to see.